been really passionate about travel and it just occurred to me that a lot of people have been doing uh, solo travels and it got me so curious and I just set a goal and I told myself that hey I can do it too. I'm Anna Zalazar and I'm the blogger behind Anne's Ventures. Last year around May, um, I quit my job in the US and um, I embarked on a one-woman adventure that started in the Philippines and then I went all the way around Southeast Asia. Thailand, Cambodia, Laos, Vietnam, Indonesia, and then I also went to Sri Lanka, Singapore, Malaysia, and Hong Kong and Macau. I planned for a year. So I worked, I still work at the same company, and then I saved money for my trip so I could self-finance the whole trip, and then I sold most of my stuff. months of traveling around the region. I'm now back here in the Philippines. In the Philippines, I went to Puerto Princesa first because um, I, I went there with my cousin. So we went and see the underground river. Uh, we went to see like the other islands, um, Honda Bay, Snake Island. And I also went to Coron and see the most beautiful lake, Yangan Lake, Banana Island, Makapuya Island. After Palawan, I went to Karaman. After Karaman, I went to Bohol because I had um, cousins there. So when I arrived in Hagna, my cousins just requested me to give a speech like to their school because they have an institution that provides sustainable education for students like uh, sons and daughters of farmers, fishermen um, in, a, in a rural area in Bohol. The talk that I had in Hangna is more about travel and reaching for one's dreams and goals in life. So it was more of an inspirational talk. I just went there and talked about things that I'm really passionate about, such as travel and my experiences as a female solo traveler and like how I did my trip and what my dreams were and how I made it a reality. Bohol, I went and uh, took a ferry to take a side trip to the island of Kanigin. I met a few travelers there and I was only there for two days but I, I, I do want to return to Kanigin because it's one of the most beautiful islands I've ever been to. We went to White Island and at first it was uh, drizzling and then for a while and then um, the sun came up and then there was like this beautiful rainbow and um, it just made like the whole experience so magical. And I'm planning to uh, end my trip in one of uh, one of the destinations here in the Philippines, which is Ilocos region. my uh, last trip to the Philippines and I went to Ilocos and we first went to Ilocos Sur and then spent the next night in Vigan and went uh, walking around the town and Vigan is a really beautiful town especially at night when the lights are open. The next day I woke up really early and um, rented a paleta and went around Calia Crisologo and saw the historical sites, saw the vegan cathedral, Bantai church. We went also to see the, you know, where they make pottery. And then the next day, I headed straight to the northernmost part of Luzon. And I saw Patapat Bridge, which was the bridge that links the northwestern part of the island to the eastern part of Luzon. And I also went to Maira Ira Point, which is where the Blue Lagoon is. And then headed straight to Cape Boyador Lighthouse. 
and went from there to see the Bangui windmill, which was one of like the most beautiful parts of northern Luzon, and went to Lawak and saw the historical sites there of the Lawak Cathedral, the Sinking Church, and um, the Lawak Town. My trip to Ilocos has been one of the most interesting trips I've ever had uh, because I really love like World Heritage sites and seeing all those old churches makes me feel like I, I was traveling back in time during uh, pre-war, during the Spanish colonial period and seeing all those beautiful churches and um, after having gone to so many countries in Southeast Asia, I can only see like those kind of churches only in the Philippines. And um, it's one thing that I'm really, really proud to be a Filipino.